while the six week world games is coming towards the end on the seventh day of the season world games the women's bronze medal match Welcome to the Kim Chun Sports Complex for the Women's Bronze Medal Football Match between the Netherlands and Number the host nation, ben South Korea. Daniela. The match begins, six minutes in. Netherlands. Unable to score. The tight brick wall defense from South Korea. The shoot goes wide line. The score remains no nil. Get it on target. 24th minute. A nice pass into the penalty box. The goalkeeper, Dugardi, untested with that play. Unable to get the head in there. The first goal. And 25th minute. No foul call there. Three with possession. Nice through pass, in the box, shoots! Oh, what a fuck up for Arsons. Score still remains, nil-nil. For the 
dodge. Will there be a miracle? A nice cross. But in the hands of the goalkeeper, Kim Yu Jin. Just seconds left in this match. But here's another opportunity for South Korea. Lee Jung South Korea goes up. An incredible performance. An incredible match for Lee Jung Min. As South Korea. And the manager as well. The bronze medal finish. We turn things over to the Kim Chun Gymnasium for the men's semi-final volleyball matchup between South Korea and Brazil. Brazil with the set point in the first set. And that is a block. 25-21, first set victory for Brazil as they go up 1-0. Second set, Korea up 20 to 17. A four on the outside, a block. Korea up 21 17. Great block. Service Brazil. Korea up 24 23. Outside four. And there's the kill. 25 23. Second set victory for South Korea. Third set, South Korea with the set point once again, 24-23. A quick two, and the kill. 24 apiece, deuce. A service error, 25-24, set point for South Korea. A service error there as well. Great serve, great serve received. A back four, and the kill. Korea taking the lead, 26-25. As a back four. And the kill. 26-26, South Korea. A four, blocked by the Brazilians. Brazil with the set point. In says the Lions judge. 27-27, this one is a close one. Another four. Center, outside four. And this one goes inbound for the point for Brazil. Set point Brazil. Great service received. That's a kill. And this set goes to 28-28. Ace. South Korea up 29-28. Set point. Great receive. A four. And the kill. Set goes to South Korea. Fourth set, another close one as well. 24 24. Bad pass. And the block. No one there to receive. Brazil with the set point. Set back four. And the block. Brazil takes the fourth set. 26 24 as they go to a decisive fifth set. Brazil up 14 to 11. The match point. And the kill. Game over. Brazil moves on to the final. With a fifth set victory. 15 to 11 and 3 to 2 victory. Taking you to the indoor sports complex with five gold medals up for grabs, starting off with the women's competition and to the 57 kilogram gold medal match. This time between German Fleming and China's Zhang Ming Yu. Turning off to a great start, taking a 5 1 lead after the second round. With a barrage of points from Zhang in the third period. Levels things at eight points apiece. This one is going to golden score time. A single point is all they need. A penalty point. And that single point will be the difference. 
and Sung Ming Yu wins the gold medal. Now, let's see. Women's under 67, 67 kilogram gold medal match. This time it's China's Guo Yunfei and Egypt's Al Sawali. The goal getting all her points via Kyunggo or penalty. And she gets two more in the third round as well. of points from the Egyptian. Here it comes. And the fight goes on. The clock winding down. Also Ali, can she hold on? Sawali takes the gold medal final score of 6 to 4 in the under 67 kilogram contest. Taking you to the women's under 73 kilogram event this time, another Chinese in the final. This time, Zheng Shu Yin taking on Russia's Kurskaya. This match too close to call for the first two rounds. The judges take a review on a point. Another review. An offensive kick to the head. That's a three-pointer. Zang in control with time ticking away. And there it is, seven to two final score. The second gold medal in the women's Taekwondo today for China. Now over to the men's competition and to the under 68 kilogram gold medal match between Germany's Adnan Karim and Azerbaijan's Takizade. They score this first round. In the second round. Points being added on to the scoreboard. Germany 2 to 1. Time taken away in the third round. Adnan Karim up 6 to 4. German adds another point. Nine to five. Scoring five points in the third round, and he holds on. Nine to five is the final score for the gold medal. Finally, over to the men's under 80 kilogram final. Iran's Rajabi taking on Tunisia's Uslati. First round so far, but the Tunisian taking control in the second round. Offensive kicks to the head, worth three points, and he keeps adding on. No way to come back for Rajabi. As Uslati's number of three pointers ends this match. 17 points in total and a gold medal. Welcome to the Kim Chun Indoor Swimming Pool as nine different gold medal races took place earlier today. Starting off with the women's 200 meter freestyle final. And there's the start of the race. Francis Bonnet, who set a season gold record in 2014, is in lane four and went to grab the gold. With two Chinese swimmers in the race as the favorites. Charlotte Bonnet, never losing the lead in this competition. As she touches the finish line. Final official time, 1 minute 57.65 seconds and a new season world record. Breaking her own record and setting a new one. What an incredible race. Now over to the men's 200 meter freestyle final this time. Two Chinese swimmers in lane 3 and 7 and two Egyptians in lane 2 and 4. Brazil's Ilo Cesar de Oliveira never loses his lead 
Final official time of 1 minute 49.03 seconds for another Brazilian gold in swimming. Medalists, please return to your seat. This time is the women's 200 meter individual medley final. Four different swimming styles. And in 200 meters of the race, Russia's Andrei Vlad in control throughout the race. Still plenty of race to go. Russia's on Krika, still in control. But wait, Vietnam's Nguyen Tian. A come from behind victory, setting a new season world record. Final official time, 2 minutes, 13.87 seconds. Winning by just 9 one hundredth of a second. A close finish and a gold medal. Now over to the men's 200 meter individual medley final. Eight lanes, one gold medal, and three spots on the podium. Brazil and China favorites of the men's competition. Chen Meng Chang takes the lead back to the 150 meter mark. Can he hold on? Yes, in lane four. Touching first, final official time of two minutes, 0.91 seconds, with two Brazilians finishing second and third. An incredible finish for another top medal finish for China. This is the women's 100 meter breaststroke final this time. China's Fang Gong, who set a season world record in 2010 in lane five. Breaks Lieber after the 50 meter mark. But towards the end, it's China once again. Slow Ron storming through in the last 50 meters of the race. A gold medal finish and a new season world record. Final official time of 1 minute, 8.53 seconds. And yet another gold medal for China. Shifting over to the men's 100 meter breaststroke final this time. Russia's posting in lane three, the favorite to win the race. So far, South Korea's Chen Yun in the lead after the first 50 meters of the race. And he holds on. Closing in on the finish line. There it is. South Korea's Chen Yun. Final official time of 1 minute 0 0.8 seconds for the gold medal finish. A proud moment for Che. Winning the gold medal in front of his home crowd. As the home crowd cheered for Che. Let's move over to the women's 50 meter backstroke final. Just one lap across, a short race, which means a lot of excitement. But the reaction time crucial in short distance competitions. And Brazil. Dennis de Medeiros has the lead and holds on. Great reaction time of 0.63 seconds. Finishes first. 28.38 seconds for the gold medal finish. An impressive race in the short distance run. There she is, smiling at the top of the podium. Now time to head over to the men's 50 meter backstroke final this time. Poland's Tomas Polka, the favorite going into the race. But still too close to call. Closing in. Touching first. Lane four. Polka doesn't disappoint as he touches first. Final official time of 25.28 seconds for the gold medal. With South Korea's Chung in second and Bonacci of Italy in third place. And those three on the podium with Polka at the top.
And finally, over to the mix 4x100. This is the freestyle we will find. This is a record here. This is 397 seconds set by China back in 2015, which is this year at the Green Gun Season World Games. And China do it once again. Brazil still in the lead. Russia behind by less than two seconds. And the turn. Brazil has a controlled lead. And there it is in lane five. Brazil finishes with a final official time. Three minutes, 29.9 seconds. And setting a new season world record. Russia with the silver and Italy with the bronze. We'll take a commemorative photo. But in the end, it's Brazil at the top of the podium. This is the Broomfield Indoor Gymnasium for the Men's Greco Roman Wrestling Competition with four gold medals up for grabs. First off, over in the 59 kilogram weight class, Kazakhstan's Eno Gulov taking on Egypt's Mahmoud. And that's the start. Eno Gulov stacking up two point executions in the first period. Great move. In control throughout the match. Four two point executions to be exact for a total of eight technical points. Mahmoud unable to score a single point. This contest. Finishes 8-0 in a 4-0 victory via great superiority, a dominating performance, and a well-deserved gold medal for Aina Gulong. Over to the 71 contest. Iran's getting the versus South Korea's Jung-Bin. At the start of the match, the Iranian taking an early lead, four technical points to none in the first period. There's still a lot of time left. Second period. The South Queen coming back. Scoring four technical points. It's tied. But the difference here is getting his two point execution in the second period. Giving him the 6 4 edge. Going 3 1. Win the decision by points. Up is the eight kilogram contest. Eight kilogram Russia. Russia Saif taking on Azerbaijan's Husanov. A close contest in the first period. Whistles blown. And it begins once again. Great move there. Husanov taking a slim 3 2 lead. But wait a minute, this contest called early due to an injury by Saeed. Chris Usman is given the 5 0 decision via victory by injury. Might not be the way he wanted to win, but a gold medal nonetheless. As a pain to top the podium. Finally, over to the 98 kilogram contest. Lithuania's Laurinaitis taking on Russia's Melknikov. But this bout, a one-sided contest. With the Russian taking the back. Going for a four-point execution. Yes, there it is. A dominating performance from the Russian. He's going for a second. Another four-point execution. And that's going to do it. Four-nothing victory via great superiority. As Russia's Novikov claims the 98 kilogram gold medal for his nation. An impressive victory. And a well-deserved spot at the top of the podium.
This is the indoor tennis course pace with a couple of team gold medal fencing competitions set to take place. Starting off with the men's saber team gold medal match. The matchup between the two powerhouses in Russia and Italy. An incredibly close bout all throughout. But in the fourth bout, Italy's Pochini outduels Russia's Bolshakovsky 6 0. The Russians come out attacking aggressively in the final two bouts. But the Italians hang on. Claim the men's saber team gold with a final score of 45 to 42 as they stand proudly at the top of the podium. Now over to the women's FA team gold medal match. The matchup between Russia and Romania as the Russians look to add yet another gold medal to their already impressive gold medal tally. A close bout after three, with both nations with eight points each. Touch after touch, Russia running away. In the fourth bout, the Russian barrage of touches. Keep going as Russia's Kudkova wins five to one. Romania tries to make up for their deficit. The sit forward puts the hammer down with a dominating 11-5 win in the final bout. And there it is. Russia claims another gold medal with an impressive 36-22 victory over Romania. Standing once again at the top of the podium. Welcome to Yechun Jinho International Archery Field Facilities. First off, recurve women's individual. From China, Between Zhang Binghong and Gwendolyn Sanzong. Eternity! Target number two, from Italy, Zhangri Kurandalina! Satori taking first two sets. And in the third round, Summer. Nine. Nine. Gives away one set to Zan. And in the fourth set, Zhang. Nine. Satori. And nine. nine. Match ends with Satori's victory. And the plane for the gold medal. The medal awarding ceremony for a curve of woman individual. Players taking each set, and the third set, Shin Jae-hun. A nine. Nine or ten. Nespoli. As it goes to the next round. Set point five two three as Shin Jae Hun took the fourth set and in the next round, he claiming the gold medal. 
An impressive finish as Korea adds another gold medal. This is the Top Bliss Country Club. The final round of golf. Starting off with the men's individual. A windy day today, and the wind is going to be a factor as Team Korea loses to take the lead. South Korea's Pang Doan in the lead for most of the day. But his 1 over 73 on the day opens doors for other competitors. A great putt. But the Korean Brazilian Lucas Yu Shin Lee it's his day on round four, who birdied five times on the day, including an eagle on the 15th hole, giving him a six under 66. And the putt just short. But he should be happy with his result. As he storms back, to finish first at 7 under overall as Korea finishes first in the men's team result and now over to the women's round 4 a great drive to start things off and the putt a windy day and in days like this the short game is crucial on the green. The putt goes in. And just like the men's side, Korean Brazilian Lucien Eugene Lee this time. Can she make it just like her brother? She shoots a 2 under 72 in round 3, an even par round 4. But can she hold on? This one, on the green. Close enough for a birdie putt. And there it is, the brothers and sisters claiming the gold medal in the individual event. Winning with a 4 over par, just enough to beat the French. But France finishes first in the team result. At the medal ceremony, Lucienne receives her gold medal. Standing proudly at the top of the podium. And her brother as well, the two Korean Brazilians placing themselves at the top of the podium. To France. And France claiming the women's team gold. And the host nation South Korea wins the men's team gold as they salute. table shooting range as we head into the shooting competition starting off with the men's 25 meter military rapid fire pistol final China holds the SISM world record set back in 1998 but will China continue their dominance in this event three shooters per nation two position stages and three series concentration a crucial factor in this event despite having the time against you Continue to fire away. China led by Major Shi Zhang. 590 points. 29 bullseye. Will that be enough? 
There it is. Helping the Chinese outscore the South Koreans 1,754 to 1,738 for the gold medal finish. Now shifting over to the 50-meter three positions women's individual. A total of 62 participants with one not starting. Three positions, kneeling, prone, and standing for two series each. Mongolia's Chulun Batrak setting a new season world record just yesterday with 589 points. But can she continue her success today? A tense atmosphere as each competition goes on. Each competitor is focusing on the target and each shot fired with precision. In the end, it's Chulun Batrak who finishes first once again, 585 points in 28 bullseye, just beating Germany's Angela Dare by a single point. Over to the women's 25-meter military rapid-fire pistol event. Three shooters per nation, two stages, and three series per stage. Each point crucial, as the shooting competitions have been very close so far. For Pak Tanju of South Korea, a great day for her, including a 100 pointer in the first series of stage nine. But will it be enough to help Team South Korea? Three times before the fire. As the competitors continue to shoot away. Target. Members of Russia and China firing away. But in the end, thanks to Pak Tanju of South Korea, South Korea claims the gold medal. Final team score of 1,737 points. An impressive victory for the host nation. We go over to the modern pentathlon and to the men's team competition. Four events, fencing, swimming, riding, and the combined event. Here comes swimming. Each point, crucial in the final score. As each competitor goes for their best time. Then come the fencing competition. Russia dominating the fencing competition. Trying to make up for the time they had in swimming. Then come the obstacle runs with the riding event. Russia falling behind still on the riding competition. Now with the combined event, each time crucial for every one of these events, including the pistol shooting. And towards the finish line, the South Korean goes, exhausted, but proud of his achievement. But in the end, in the individual final standing, it's Pak dong Su of South Korea in first. But Russia finishing first in the team final standing. A proud moment in front of his home crowd. A gold medal around his neck. Saluting the flag as the national anthem is played. And now Russia at the top of the podium after winning the men's team event.
up in the sky. This is the parachuting event. Starting off with the women's formation skydive. And there's a jump. Team consisting of four members. Three different kinds of formation. The inter two. An incredible execution in the time they have. Team China with the jump. Whether it be Inter 1, Inter 2, or Inter 15, different formations are executed. Brazil's turn to make their formation. Nation, South Korea using the inter two formation first three people stay connected into a 360 turn while the last person flies alone now come the jump by Russia the first formation different formations are created not as beautifully executed as China or the United States. Now Morocco. The jump. And there it is. The enter two. Most of the nations going with the enter two formation. As the United States finished first with 172 points. This is the men's formation skydive. Here comes Belgium with a quick execution on their formation. Germany. An impressive formation. Morocco stays together first. The grips tight together. There it is, enter two. Here comes Russia with their jump. Time is of the essence to create all their formation in time. Now come the jump by Finland. Starting off with the enter 15. And in the end, Belgium finishes first with 206 points for the gold medal. And now come the team accuracy final. The target known as dead center is a circle with a diameter of two centimeters. But the pad itself is about 15 centimeters. The further they go from the dead center, the more points they're deducted. And accuracy is crucial in this event. An impressive landing as the final result sees Belarus in first place followed by Italy and Russia in the men's team accuracy and in the team accuracy for women China places first we turn things over to aeronautical pentathlon and over to the women's individual obstacle run. The start of the race. Each competitor is trying to cut their time and all the obstacles ahead of them. And up and down they go. And exhaustion settles already for some of the competitors as they go under. The smallest mistake can make a difference. Each second counts, and each second will make the difference in a gold medal to silver to bronze. And at the end, it's Revinson who finishes first in the individual obstacle run result.
and the final standing as well, setting a world record. With Norway finishing first in the final standing in the women's pentathlon. There they are, standing proudly at the top of the podium with the gold medal around their neck as each gold medal is issued for each event. And now over to the men's individual obstacle run. It's one through four. Please proceed to the shuttle station for transportation. Each competitor with one thing in their mind. The Spain, finish line. Perez Serrano. With Turkey, the obstacles in Carlton. front of them, holding Please them back. Proceed to the pre -start zone. And on there they go. Zigzag balance beam. Followed by the final run to the finish line. And in the end, it's the Brazilian who finishes first. And the final standing goes to Pereira Pereza. And Brazil finishes first in the final standings as well. A great day for the Brazilians. With the aeronautical pentathlon. Over to the Marine Corps First Division Cross Country Field for the Naval Pentathlon Amphibious Cross Country Event. Starting off with the women's competition. Four different features in the race. Starting off with the run. Then come the shooting competition. Not only stamina, but accuracy is required. Following that comes the water passage with rubber boat. Quickly moving over to the next feature is the grenade throwing competition. And this once again requires accuracy as they finish off with the final run. And at the end, Brazil's Valentim de Oliveira finishes first, but in the final standing is Cecilia her home. Final standing, Sweden. There's the team event. But there she is, Cecilia her home, winning the individual after five events, with Sweden claiming the top podium spot for the women's team. Now over to the men's individual amphibious cross country. Men's competition similar to that of the women's competition, aside from the dummy rifle which they carry throughout the race. Each dummy rifle weighing 3 kilograms. Here comes the shooting competition. As he moves over to the next event. is important before they go into their final feature. Come the final run and the finish line as they collapse, exhausted from the race. In the end, it's Poland's Slavinsky who crosses the line first. But Westman finishes first in the final standings in the individual event. Brazil winning the team naval pentathlon in the final standings. There he is with the gold medal, Germany's Westman. And Brazil claiming the top podium spot for the men's team event. We move over to the Sejong Drill Ground for the Military Pentathlon Women's Obstacle Run Relay Gold Medal Match. Brazil taking on China. It should be a close race. And there's a start. 
Both nations fared well going into this gold medal match. 16 obstacles for the women's competition. Wire trip. Follow by the network up next. China to lead so far. And there's the tag. Up the balance beam. Turn. This one, a close race. Zigzag beams. Still too close to call. And around and around. Closing in on the finish line. Three assault walls, and that one mistake by China. The difference. As Moreya Venachio pulls through the finish line first. Final official time, 1 minute 55.25 seconds, beating China by over a half a second for the gold medal finish. And now over to the men's obstacle run relay gold medal match, Brazil taking on Ecuador. Brazil. 20 obstacles for men, 4 competitors per nation, and a great jump down. A great execution there from Brazil. Quickly moving through the network of nets and the pass. Ecuador in the lead so far. But still plenty of obstacles to go in this race. The tag is made. Over the wall. One little mistake can make the difference. Ecuador in control so far, but Brazil not too far behind. Zigzag beam. And that mistake will be the difference maker. The final lap. As Ecuador closes in on the finish line. There it is. A dominating race by the Ecuadorians as they score through each obstacle with a final official time of 1 minute 47.68 seconds. Little mistakes. Turn into huge mistakes. As that one mistake by Brazil is the difference as Ecuador claims the gold medal.